Sunday, everyone. Welcome back to another video. I'm walking to meet Avery right now with an at-home iced coffee, which we are super excited about because the weather is stunning. So I can finally walk around with this without feeling like my hand's gonna fall off. As you guys can tell, it's gorgeous out. It's like 52 degrees, I think. And I lied, I think it's like 48. So we're going to the famous little Acme Studios spot to shoot this morning. I have on this outfit, but this isn't actually what I'm gonna be wearing. I just put my blazer on because I'm draping a sweater over my shoulders and I have a t-shirt under this, so it's a little bit chilly for that, but I'm so excited to start getting all the spring outfits up for you guys on my Instagram. So make sure to follow me over there too. Flowers are blooming, I'm loving it. Spring in New York City is like the best season ever. Why is my forehead looking like blotchy? I don't know. Avery has her Gatorade. We're hungover. <laughs> just a We've got an at-home coffee that I already showed you guys and we're just gonna shoot outside of Rails because they have this really cute like floral thing going on right now. So a lot of people outside today, which is yeah. what we're not used to because we're usually out at like 7 a.m. on a weekday. I need to, I think I have like- The makeup? Do you see that on my forehead? I blended, but I did my makeup like in the dark, so that's probably what happened there. But we're almost done shooting. Outfits. Bye. I really think that we are getting the hang of the at-home coffees. I made a really good one yesterday when I went to go shoot and to also kind of have something to hold when I was taking pictures. I'll insert one of them here. I literally did not put the coffee cup down for any of the shooting and I just thought it was funny because I haven't shot in a while and I also haven't gotten a coffee out in a while so I was just like you know a little attached but I hope you guys are all doing really well. I started the work day this morning pretty early. Um, I don't really know why. For some reason on Mondays, I kind of just want to get going. And I think it's because I have work that builds up over the weekend because the stores are open on the weekend. So then I always want to sign on really early and see what's going on, what I missed, if anything's urgent, all that kind of stuff. So I'm just putting my laptop down a little bit because the light is looking a little weird on here. But I wanted to just sit down and chat with you guys because I feel like I didn't really vlog too much this weekend. And it was mainly because I went home for my aunt's 60th birthday party, which was so nice. I feel like when I was younger, I used to take spending time with family so much for granted. And I'm trying, obviously it's a little bit late. I'm 27 years old, I probably. Should have figured this out earlier, but I'm just really grateful to be spending time with everyone, especially with my relatives that are a little bit older and just in general, like family is super important. And so going home, even if it was just for a day, was super nice. Both my sisters were there. Okay, sorry, my boyfriend just called. We were figuring out our plan for this weekend. Um, so I think I was talking about just going home. That was really nice. And then my sister's boyfriend, so they live in Queens, and they offered to drive me back straight to my apartment, which was the best surprise ever. I was honestly like, I told them like, don't feel like just because you offered this time that this is something that you have to do because I just don't ever want to inconvenience anyone like that. So I was like, I will take a ride from you. But at the same time, like, do not feel like this is something that you have to do. So um, that was a perfect little surprise. And then I... Um, and then I just had a little pizza night with my boyfriend and we chilled out. Saturday, I woke up and went and shot, which I already took you guys along to in this vlog. But um, so you saw that part and then that's kind of where I left you guys off. So we went to Daddy's Pizza in the West Village for lunch. Um, my boyfriend's mom came in and we kind of just had a nice little day because she was helping move some of his stuff out. So 
we um, went to eat there and it was so good. It's cash only though. So highly recommend that place. It's the same owner as Little Frankie's. Little Frankie's is usually really difficult to get a reservation at. So if you're in New York and you want to go to Little Frankie's, um, Daddy's Pizza is the same owner and it has a lot of the same um, like items on the menu. So for example, like Little Frankie's I think is known for their lemon pasta. I've gotten it there twice and it is so freaking amazing and they had it at this restaurant too so we got a pasta a pizza and um a couple of appetizers like a salad so that was very very good and then we went to another little bar to meet up with some of our other friends then we went to another bar and i can't believe we went to three yesterday so i got home at like 7 p.m last night and i was so tired from just having a non-stop day and it was honestly a good combination of like me getting stuff done and then also being able to like see everybody um and just have a nice like little sunday so i ended up coming back here watching love is blind which i'm kind of addicted to and then i went to sleep like not too early i think i went to bed at like 11 um but i knew i wanted to like wake up refreshed so Got up this morning, made myself a little breakfast. I did scrambled eggs on toast. Not that anybody asked. <laughs> um, and then I made my coffee a little bit later. So we're definitely on the train. If you guys don't already do this, I suggest that you um, eat before having coffee. There's something to do with your cortisol levels or something like that where um, you want to eat before you have your caffeine for the day just because it's like better for your body or something. I don't know. I only do it because I will not be hungry for hours if I wake up and drink a coffee right away. So that's why when you see me like going to coffee shops when it's not Lent, I am getting a croissant usually because I want to eat that before I have my coffee. So yeah, just a nice productive morning. I made my list of things to do. I have become a huge like planner, like daily planner person. And I was always really inconsistent with it. I would have all these different notebooks and I would like write in them. And then three weeks later, I would write in them again and then, you know, stay on it for like three days. And then I want to do it again for like three months. And it was just really, really bad. I think what helped me was the five minute journal. So I do that every morning still. And it's just helped me get into that sort of a routine. I've always wanted to be the type of person that like writes down what I have to do for the day and plans because I feel like my brain scatters all over the place when I am just like trying to remember what I need to do as opposed to like writing it down and saying like, okay, we're going to check these things off today. Um, so I've really been loving that. And I have a recent purchase that I think I'm going to go pick up this weekend if it's in the store because they had to order it. There were only two left in the entire company and they usually do not release them until December of this year. So or like of every year. I don't know. That's what the sales associate told me. It could have just been a ploy for me to buy it, but I will obviously unbox that with you guys. It was kind of a purchase that I've been thinking about for a very long time and it's something that's going to last my entire life. So that's what I'm really excited for, especially because I'm such a planner person now. So kind of gave it away a little bit, but that's a little sneak peek. I'm actually currently in my lunch break and we have a good amount of light coming in because it's a beautiful day. And this is the challenge that I have is that I always want to go and go for a walk outside, but then also I want to take advantage of the natural light that's in our apartment and film like videos and stuff for you guys. So I might honestly go for a walk today because it looks beautiful. I have nowhere to go. I don't have any laundry to drop off. I also want to start making my packing list for this weekend. So I'm going to Maryland and we're visiting my friend Megan again. If you guys saw that vlog, I think it was like two or three months ago that we went down there or maybe longer. It was just me, my friend Jenna, and um, we went down to visit Megan because we were trying to get everyone to go, but it just didn't work out. And this time we're all able to make it. So it's Christina, Megan, Jenna, and Amanda, my roommate. So we have the whole gang together. We're gonna have a nice little girls weekend. I literally cannot wait. You can tell like, I'm just really excited because these are just like my absolute best friends and I just love them so much and I love spending time with them. We all get along super well and it's just nice because we're all able to make it. So we're gonna be doing like a little girls weekend coffee runs. I hope we're going to Tate again because it's like 20 minutes away from where my friend lives and it's so 
pretty inside. Like that place makes me feel calm and the food is really good. The coffee was really good. So I really want to go back there. Um, but then we also have a winery planned for one of the days. So I need to figure out my outfit and all that kind of stuff. Also for the fact that I'm going home a little bit early because I have to get a car in order to drive down there. The train tickets are like 300 to $400 depending on when you book them. So I figured I would just drive, especially since I am someone who loves a road trip. Let me know if you guys are road trip people in the comments because I think it's more so because I don't drive anymore that I like fully welcome any sort of like long drive, short drive, going home for the weekend. I'm always trying to like fight my mom so that I can drive just because I love it so much and it just like, it's just like calm. You put on good music and it's a good time. But I know that not everyone's like that. So I'm just really excited and I will be vlogging during the weekend. So that'll be super fun. And it'll be a little bit of a change of pace with like the things that we're going to and obviously being in a different city. So I can't wait for that. And I have some prep to do, but I'm actually just gonna throw some pizza in the oven for lunch just cause I wanna do something really quick if I'm gonna be going for a walk. And honestly, I might solicit my boyfriend to come with me because it's just stunning out and we love going for walks so he'll probably want to go too you guys these flowers have lasted so long i'm actually confused as to how this happened and it's definitely not me i feel like i always kill flowers so it's definitely the type of flower i just don't know the name of these but they were like 5.99 from trader joe's and i think it is just this type of flower because i had those white ones like mixed in between but those ended up dying quicker. And these are the pink ones that were like super, super pink when I first got them. And they kind of changed into this really, really pretty baby pink, which is kind of what I wanted them to look like in the beginning. So I'm just like, I don't know. I think some of them are dying a little bit. You could see that these have some like brown throughout some of the leaves. So I'll probably replace these. Yeah, like we have a couple of whittled ones here, but um, they lasted like two and a half weeks because I haven't been to Trader Joe's in that long. And so I just feel like they're such a good bang for your buck, especially since Trader Joe's already has like the most amazing prices. This is like amazing that they've lasted this long and they look so nice and like fluffy. And I just love the way that they turned out. Definitely better and longer lasting than tulips, but I'm a sucker for tulips. So we'll see what I end up choosing this week. So I made my coffee at like 9 a.m. Obviously we are three hours later and needing to throw some extra ice cubes in there because I haven't finished it. Surprise, surprise. But we are gonna make this last all the way until I eat my pizza. You guys know me and we do not waste a drop of coffee ever. I never update you guys in this mirror because it's just a little dark, but this is the one that's in our hall closet in the living room. But you guys will be able to see my outfit. So I'm getting ready to go for a walk. I just feel like I need to get up. I also am like getting the sweats for some reason. So I just think that my body like needs to move around a little bit. I've been on the couch working all day long and I wanted to sit at my desk, but I just never made it over there. So this is what I'm gonna wear. I have on my Aritzia jumpsuit. This is the most perfect thing that I can possibly imagine wearing to go for a walk, especially in this weather. And then I'm still wearing my Anina Bing sweatshirt. This is a size large, just in case you guys are looking to get it. It's probably my favorite Anina Bing sweatshirt that I own. And then we have some crew socks on. These are the cream colored ones from Wellbeing and Being Well, but I will link my Hanes ones for you guys because they're like a lot more cost effective and they give the exact same look. And then my shoes, these are Veja Decon sneakers, I think, and I have not worn these in so long, but they're super comfortable and I really like the black laces. I'm gonna leave now. We probably will only be gone for like a half hour because I don't have much time before I have to continue on with some emails. Hey you guys, so it is around almost six o'clock now and I've been very busy since I last spoke to you. So I went on a walk, I took the garbage out, the recycling, cleaned the bathroom and what else? I am gonna do a quick workout before I make dinner because I wanna make it a point to move my body every day. And I feel like I've been saying that like every day on the vlog, but it's really just to keep me accountable because I know you guys will do that for me. I did just, and I didn't know that I really wanted to like mention this on here because I feel like there's no like point in addressing any sort of like negativity. Um, but I did have someone that wrote me an email and so it wasn't even just like a comment on my YouTube on like one of the 
sections. It was like fully found my, I mean, I don't think my email was even on my channel. Um, so yeah, I just didn't really think that I wanted to like say anything about this, but I feel like it's a good time now while my audience is pretty small to just kind of like generally address the subject of like negativity. So this person basically said like friendly advice regarding my channel. And I was like, okay, I'm always up for constructive criticism. My sisters do it all the time. Um, and so I went into the video, I mean, I went into the email and she basically was like, I hadn't watched your videos in a while, but they kept popping up on my page. And so I clicked on your most recent vlog and lost interest within the first minute and basically went on to say that my content doesn't have any value and that that's why I would have a lot more subscribers, but I don't because I'm not bringing any value to anybody. And she's completely entitled to her opinion. And then she went on to name another creator that I have actually watched and is a completely different channel in my opinion. It's only like fashion oriented videos. There's no vlogs, anything like that. She also said that no one watches vlogs anymore, which I'm like, I watch a vlog like almost every day, if not every other day. So I just think that, you know, a lot of the opinions are subjective. Something that I consider like constructive criticism was like my sister told me one time, she's like, I feel like your monologues of like you're talking has gotten really, really long. And she was right. Like my videos were going from like 30 minutes and then they ended up being like 50 something. And it was just a lot of like chunks of me talking. And my boyfriend had also said the same thing. He was like, you need more of those like clips in between you talking to kind of like show more of your life. And that I consider being very helpful advice. And so I am definitely open to the I don't even want to call it criticism. I think they're more like thoughtful suggestions and like people who have my like best interests at heart. I feel like that's what this girl was trying to do. It just kind of came off in a very salty way being like, your channel has no value and you should try to do what this other girl's doing because she's had a lot of success. And it's like, her channel's been around for a really long time. I've only been doing this for like two and a half years on top of like the concepts and like the niche of our channels. like. I'm more lifestyle. I feel like I started out with just fashion videos, but I ended up really enjoying vlogging. So I just take you guys along to my life in New York City. I know that this is a place that I am super fortunate to live in and I'm very like aware of that. And just in the same way that I watch people's vlogs that live in London and in Paris are two places that I would love to live in. It's kind of like that is the point of my channel. And so just, yeah, I feel like the point of my channel was kind of missed. And I feel like if you also just think that my content lacks value, like I always say this, I'm like, there are so, there are like hundreds of thousands of people who create videos on YouTube. And so if you like only like a certain type of video or a certain type of personality, then you should just only watch that person. And I've always been like a firm believer in that. I like throughout the years have changed certain creators that I watch based on like, the different like life stages that I'm in and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, just to kind of cap that off, I ended up responding back saying like, I appreciate your advice. And I just think that the point of my channel was kind of missed. I said that she is like fully entitled to her thoughts and feelings about my channel and saying that there's no value to it. But I think that I'm going to continue on doing what I'm doing and not trying to model my channel after somebody else's just so that I can get more subscribers. Cause that's not really why I'm here. So. Just as a general thought, I will never really tolerate the negativity. Anytime that it has been a problem on my channel, in the beginning I used to, and trust me, like I've been very thankful to not have much hateful feedback on my channel and I'm very grateful for that. But in the future, like I will just delete your comment and you can comment it over and over and over again. But in the past I used to just do like kill them with kindness and I would respond back something saying like, I'm sorry you feel that way and I hope you're not like I hope whatever you're going through that things get better because you know people just hurt people out of their own hurt and so in the future like just letting anybody know I'm always open to suggestions I'm open to ideas but in terms of like being rude or saying things that are solely just a negative opinion and not something that is helpful to me I'm just going to delete it I'm not going to address it I am not going to respond. I'm not going to talk about it. Like this is me saying that this is the only time I will be talking about it. Um, 
it's just not going to be a thing because I am a firm believer in kindness and I think that there are so many hateful things being said out there on the internet these days that I'm just not tolerating it. So moving forward, just letting everybody know that. And I just also want this to be like a safe space for everyone to, you know, write their comments and interact with me. And I don't need like other people chiming in with their negativity because I don't think that that's like fair to other people. So yeah, if any of that happens in the future, I hope that it doesn't obviously, but just know that this is the kindness club over here and that's all we're allowing. So I have full control over my channel and I can delete anybody's comments should I have to, but hopefully I don't need to. I just felt like because I have a larger audience than I had in the past and I hope that it continues to grow, that it's just something that I wanted to address now before, you know, things actually happen. And if anyone ever writes anything negative and you wonder where your comment went, it's because I deleted it. So yeah, end of rant. I am going to do a quick workout now and then I think I'm making, um, I always say tacos, but I don't have taco shells. I just have like the chips. So I normally just make nachos with the Trader Joe's seasoning and it's actually really, really good. I'm so looking forward to it. I know it's not like a really healthy meal, but I had an apple for a snack. So we're all about balance here and I'm also doing a workout. So it's like, you know, it's a give and take. Have you guys at, what is going on with these pieces? I just sometimes go to vlog and I'm like, how was I just like sitting here looking like that all night? Okay, what was I saying? Um, oh, okay, the angle. First of all, this is crooked. You guys are at a different angle. I have you propped up on our garbage can in the kitchen. And this is because I just finished eating dinner. I was watching Gretchen. I'm not gonna know how to say her last name on YouTube, but I watched her Puerto Rico vlog and then a couple that I missed. And I've just been answering some more emails for work. It's like 8.15 right now. I also placed an Amazon order for some fun new things related to another fun new thing. So that will be unboxed very soon. I got it shipped here, even though I'm technically probably gonna bring it with me when I go to Maryland next weekend, but we'll see. Um, so I'll show you guys that when it comes in. And then I also just remembered that I bought something when I was at home and I didn't show it to you guys because I wasn't vlogging when I was home on Saturday. So I'm gonna go grab that and try that on before I body shower. Okay, now I'm realizing how weird it is to show you guys this in the kitchen. But I went to Lululemon with my mom. I was trying to encourage her to get some workout tank tops that were a little bit more cropped because she wears like high-waisted leggings, which like my mom fought the high-waisted thing for so long. And I'm like, you must, it's like the most comfortable thing ever. Everything is like all in and secure and it's great. And even when she had high-waisted leggings, she was still wearing the tank tops that went down to like here. And I was like, and she's 5'5". Five five, so I'm like, let's play around with your proportions a little bit and see what we can do. So she ended up getting the tank top actually in the same color as the one I'm wearing right now. So we'll be matching, but I ended up seeing this bra. And if you guys saw a couple of vlogs ago, I was wearing this in the try on portion. I had a really, really light like powder blue one. And then this like I see, it's kind of like a really, really light lavender um, color, but I saw this again and I was obsessed with it, but I didn't see this style bra when I went into the store in New York City. So when I was in New Jersey and I saw this style that was like more long line, but not the same as my pink, like my light pink bra that I have from them. And I was a little bit hesitant because I was like, I don't know if I really want 
to have like not like mismatching clothes um but I think with things like this I would feel a little bit weird if I was wearing like a full lavender outfit so I think black leggings with this will look really nice um this is the like a cloud long line bra so it says it recommends that you are a b or a c is that what that means like a cup size um i'm like a c minus when it comes to bras i always say that because i'm a c in victoria's secret but i heard that victoria's secret runs small but so this is supposed to be a light support yoga bra but honestly I got a size four, which is the size of my other sports bras. And it honestly like feels completely fine. Like I can definitely do my like treadmill stuff and all of the circuit workouts that I'm doing with this bra and then feel fully secure. So I just really loved the shape and the color. I literally have my jumpsuit rolled down because I did not feel like getting some leggings on because I feel like it's the same concept and we're really just focusing on the bra here, but love the color, love the shape of it. I like how it's a little bit more long line. I think I do want to get another one of the Y back bras, but like you can already hear I'm getting a little bit out of control with this stuff. But I think it's nice to have a mix and a variation of both just because for me, getting dressed to go to the gym, if I make it fun in that sense, and I feel like that's actually what has been getting me more into a routine is that I'm like excited to put on these clothes and they're so, so comfortable and they kind of like hug you in all the right places, but they don't make you feel like you're restricted. And it's just like, I look forward to putting on my gym clothes and once I have my outfit on, I'm like ready to go out the door. So as ridiculous as that sounds, I really do think that the clothing can motivate you. It does not have to be Lululemon, obviously. This is at a higher price point, but I just know that this stuff lasts. I've known so many people that have had their aligned leggings for since high school and I'm like 27 now, so that's almost 10 years. My mom has had her tank tops for like 10 or 15 years, so I just know that the material is really nice. And it's just something that I have decided to invest in. And that kind of like, you know, if I'm gonna spend the money on it, I have to wear it and I have to wear it in the right setting. I'm not just gonna sit around my house wearing these nice quality, like pretty workout clothes. So yeah, that's my latest pickup from Lululemon. I'm gonna hop in the shower now. And then I think I have a pretty chill night for the rest of the day. Tomorrow I'm going to the office. So I think I just wanna clean everything and get everything all like tidy and ready to go so that I have a nice clean room to wake up to. Um, I do wanna do a Trader Hall, Trader Hall, <laughs> Trader Joe's run in the morning and kind of do a haul for you guys, but that might be in the next vlog because I think with my whole rant about negativity that this vlog has been going on for a little bit longer than I expected it to. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you will subscribe so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and I would just absolutely love to have you on my channel. So I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you and I will see you in my next video.